In the midst of the arid land, there exists a remarkable plant that stands strong against the sun and wind, the nopal cactus. More than just a cultural symbol, nopal is also an important source of food and medicine. Each year, over 800,000 tons of nopal are produced, what makes it the green gold of the desert. Let's explore how this seemingly barren plant holds such incredible vitality and value. The nopal farm lies on a hot, arid plateau, where the basalt soil and harsh climate create the perfect conditions for the cactus to thrive. Nopal is easily propagated from pads instead of seeds, allowing the plant to grow faster and stronger. After planting, let the soil dry naturally for 7 to 10 days before watering lightly to prevent root rot and help the plant establish better. With a planting density of about 54,000 plants per hectare, the farm has maintained this model steadily for over 15 years. From 70 hectares of nopal, one megawatt of electricity can be continuously generated year-round. The cactus is processed into methane-rich biogas that powers generators to produce clean, sustainable energy. One of the most important stages in the nopal cultivation process is the harvesting of nopalitos, which are used as fresh vegetables or as ingredients in traditional cuisine. The ideal harvest time is when the pads are about 10 to 15 centimeters thick, still tender, and have not yet developed hard spines, ensuring the best flavor and highest nutritional value. Canos nopalia is one of the products regarded as a symbol of health value and sustainable development derived from the nopal plant. Fresh, organic nopal pads are carefully washed, sliced, and processed using temperature-controlled technology. Each nopalia product is produced through a closed-loop process starting with the extraction of fresh nopal juice to preserve all its natural nutrients. The nopal flesh is then blended with organic supporting ingredients such as corn flour or grains, forming a mixture that is rolled thin and cut into round shapes. These nopal pieces are then dried at low temperatures to preserve their color flavor, and nutritional value. Packaging takes place in a sterile space using eco-friendly materials to keep the nopal fresh and crisp for longer. Next comes the hedgehog cactus, holds both practical and cultural value for people in regions where it naturally grows, especially in Mexico. On warm nights from April to June, Hundreds of workers in Techaluda and Amacueca head out with headlamps and long picking poles, skillfully harvesting the ripe fruits. The harvest is carried out at night to maintain freshness and prevent the harsh sunlight from damaging the fruit's delicate skin. After harvesting, the thick, spiny layer surrounding the pataya fruit is carefully removed to reveal the juicy red flesh inside. This flesh is often sliced, juiced, or processed into jams, smoothies, and nutritious beverage products. With its sweet, refreshing flavor and rich antioxidants, pataya from Mexico and Central America is popular worldwide for its vibrant color and health benefits. Back in the cactus garden, the harvesting of prickly pear fruits from a puntilla is carried out with great care and precision to ensure the fruits remain intact. The fruits grow densely on the pads, turning bright red or yellow when ripe, and harvesters use gloves, 
tongs and small knives to gently pick them while avoiding the sharp spines. The processing of prickly pear fruits begins with washing and crushing the fresh fruits, producing a soft pulp and thick, rich juice. The pulp is then separated into two final products, the vibrant orange-red juice and the seeds and fibers, which are collected to extract the precious seed oil. The grinding and pressing process helps extract the natural essence, preserving the distinct flavor and vibrant color of the fruit. The juice concentrate is then carefully filtered and bottled under hygienic conditions, ready for market distribution. Thanks to its antioxidant properties, digestive benefits, and health-boosting effects, prickly pear juice has become a valuable nutritional supplement. It is commonly enjoyed as a healthy beverage, blended into smoothies, or used as an extract to enrich foods with vitamins and antioxidants. Have you ever tried a product made from the nopal cactus? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. A strange chicken breed with large, rough legs that look as if they're wrapped in ancient armor and a heavy, dignified body like that of a warrior. This breed not only impresses with its appearance, but also attracts attention for its high economic value and the delicious, firm, and flavorful meat it provides. In today's video, we'll explore the journey of this extraordinary chicken, from its domestication in traditional farms to the economic value it brings to farmers. The farm is built on more than 20 hectares of land, creating a peaceful and nature-friendly environment for poultry farming. In the market, this chicken breed is considered one of the most economically valuable, with prices reaching up to several hundred US dollars for a pair of fully grown birds. It stands out with its large, rough, and scaly legs, a feature that is both unusual and captivating, symbolizing strength and uniqueness in the world of poultry. Under standard farming conditions, an adult hen can lay an average of 45 to 60 eggs per season, mainly during spring and early summer when the weather is warm and stable. The eggs are incubated naturally or by machine for about 19 to 21 days before hatching, and the hatching success rate can reach up to 85% when temperature and humidity are properly controlled. From the fourth week onward, the chicks are switched to small pellet feed, combined with finely chopped greens and clean water that is changed daily. Feeding them at fixed times, typically four to five times a day, helps the chicks develop regular eating habits, gain weight more efficiently, and reduce competition within the flock. After six months of rearing, their legs begin to grow large and coarse, with the distinctive rough scales becoming more pronounced, an identifying feature of a fully mature bird that meets commercial standards. From seven to 12 months old, Dong Tao chickens are fed a diet of corn, sprouted rice, and fresh greens to build firm muscles and their signature reddish purple legs. At maturity, roosters weigh around six to seven kilograms and hens four to five kilograms, with each leg weighing up to 0.8 kilograms. Dong Tao chicken is prized for its flavorful meat thick and crunchy skin, and high economic value, making it a royal delicacy renowned across Southeast Asia. The large muscular legs define purebred Dong Tao chickens and can make up over a third of their market value. 
Made from Dong Tao chicken, chicken sausage is a traditional Vietnamese dish prepared using a special recipe. The meat is ground using a high-powered grinder to preserve the natural meat fibers, creating the signature firm and slightly crunchy texture. The mixture is then blended with pork paste in a ratio of 60% Zhong Tao chicken to 40% pork, giving the final product a naturally cohesive and smooth consistency. The meat pounding process is carried out continuously for several hours to create elasticity, ensuring that the mixture does not separate during steaming. The finished mixture is then wrapped in frinium leaves or fresh banana leaves, which are briefly blanched to soften them before being tightly rolled and securely tied with thin bamboo strings. With its unusually large, rough legs and powerful build, this chicken really stands out. Have you ever seen a breed like this before? Share your thoughts in the comments below.